Help. I don't like my husband as a person. Part 1. Woman doesn't like her husband as a person. Odds are, early on, you liked your husband enough to marry him. So what has happened since then? If you dislike your husband, you should ask yourself when this first started. Since you married him, it's safe to assume that you did like your husband before. So why don't you anymore? Did he change or did your opinion of him change? Maybe you had a change of heart. You thought you knew your husband, but you recently realized that you're incompatible in some fundamental ways. How fundamental are those things? Is there still hope for your marriage? No one can answer this for you. A therapist could help you to identify your issues, but you know your situation best. And you know your husband best. Has he changed? If so, consider the reason for this change, not just the change itself. Is your husband stressed or unhappy in other areas of his life? Is he depressed? Did something happen in the marriage? Was there some major trauma outside of the marriage that changed him? Answering these questions can help you bring back your husband and save your marriage, but is that what you want? Before doing any of the things listed below, think about your marriage. Is your relationship worth the trouble to fix? Or would staying with your husband mean sacrificing your own happiness in the long run? Before answering that, consider whether your feelings for your husband are really gone, or do you just dislike some of his recent actions? Obviously, when you have been married for a long time, you can't expect the same level of passion that you experienced during the honeymoon phase. So don't be quick to assume that the spark is gone. You can like your husband again, and you can help him become a better person. What you shouldn't do is stay in a marriage where it's not worth the trouble for you or you disagree on fairly fundamental things that aren't going to change. If you want to, give your marriage a chance by trying out the things listed below. You can still do these things if you think that there's no hope for your marriage, however, don't expect miracles. If the current state of your marriage is that bad, and you care about saving it, your best bet is to try counseling. On the other hand, if you think that you would just sacrifice your own happiness to help your husband, consider separating for a while to make up your mind. More on that later. For now, try this. 1. Remind yourself that you can't change him. Maybe you don't like your husband as a person, but he is going to stay that person anyway. People can change, but only when they choose to and put effort into becoming better. You can't force your husband into becoming a more likable person. And you need to accept this. Can you love him for who he is? Did you ever love him for who he is? 
Has he turned into someone else? What you should do depends on your answers to these questions, but start by accepting that you can't change him. Maybe your husband will change again, but if that doesn't happen, could you still love him and be okay with who he is? More importantly, would that be good for you? You can help your husband realize the bad aspects of his behavior or personality, but you can't expect him to change who he is for you. However, you should expect him to treat you with love and respect. If this is not the case, some time apart might be necessary. 2. Remind yourself why you fell in love with him. Assuming you were in love with your husband at some point in your relationship, what made you fall in love with him? How much has he changed since then? Do you still love certain aspects of his personality? If you don't love his personality right now, could you learn to love it with time? Remind yourself of the good times you shared and all the happy memories you made. Think of when you looked at him with love and when he did things to make you happy. Was there ever a time when you liked him as a person? Assuming your partner is not simply a bad person, what made you dislike him? Identifying what exactly changed in your relationship is the first step toward fixing it. 3. Ask yourself what has changed. Maybe you can't think of something that changed, because it didn't happen in your love life, but in your partner's personal life. 